Morgan Knoll here with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star 24 foot stock combo. So neat setup we have on this one. It's going to be very versatile if you've got more than just horses or cattle, you know, all of their animals, you'll be able to put them in the back there and I'll show you when we get back there. But we'll go ahead and start up front here. So on this coupler, right away, this is an adjustable coupler. So we can go up and down. We want to make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle. We've also got our safety chains, battery breakaway cable. And then right now I've got it plugged into our battery pack. That way you can see how all the lights operate on this unit. But if you are wanting to use them, you either got to be plugged into an external battery source, whether it's going to be your pickup or if we get a battery installed on this trailer for you. Underneath, we've got our full size spare and then our manual crank jack. We can easily get that upgraded to hydraulic jack for you here in our shop. Our boys here do a fantastic job at, at making it look like it came from the factory that way. So one thing I did want to point out in turn of having that adjustable coupler, we actually went in and we did the 53 inch gooseneck drop. So that's from here down to the floor. And that's going to give you some more, some more room between that truck bed and the trailer. And that way, if you're going a little more off-roading type situations, you're not getting yourself in a situation, you hit a pothole in your trailers digging your truck bed. Um, we've been noticing that truck beds have been getting taller and taller as the years go on. So we're helping accommodate with that. And then having that adjustable coupler, just making sure we're getting you riding as level as possible. So we're not over stressing one axle over another. Exterior color on this one is a charcoal metallic. And the charcoal, it goes very well with multiple different colors of pickups. So that way you're able to kind of get that aesthetic look that you're looking for too. But right here on the tack room, I absolutely love the setup of this tack room because we've got an entrance from each side of the trailer. So we've got one here on passenger side and then we've got one over on the driver's side. And that's a big one for me, especially if you're going in a group of people, you're hauling, let's say four horses and only one of them's yours and you got three friends with you. You're able to tie on both sides of this trailer, able to get your tack out without having to come to one side, walk all the way around the pickup or walk all the way around the back end of the trailer to get your horse saddled. You can go through that other tack door and be able to grab your tack, what you need. It just makes the ease of use and, and everything a lot quicker. But right here, we've got the swing out saddle rack. Currently have two tiers on each. So you got to swing out on each side and we'll see it when we go over to that other side, the other swing out. These are adjustable, they're removable. We can add additional. We can fit up to about five on here, but would depend on your saddles and how big they are. Um, I know like me personally, I had to adjust mine when I got my trailer because I've got the more cutting type saddles. So the horns are a little bit bigger. So I had to move them down. So that way I had some more room between each tier. So that's nice being able to adjust those up and down. And then right here on the tack door, we've got our swing out blanket pull. So this actually pulls out and makes it easier for you to be able to layer those blankets on here, grab one from the middle, and then it just easily goes back to that stationary position next to the door. Got a window on that door and get that open, get some airflow going through. If you've got some musty smelling blankets or whatnot in there, and then down below, we've got our brush box. So brush box, I always keep my stuff I use often in there. So it's my brushes, my um, fly spray, liniment, hoof pick, all of that stuff is kept in there. And that way I'm not having to climb into the trailer and find what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this one back in. So it's on a gas shock. That's its stationary position when it's in, that in the tack room there. And then I wanted to show you this step coming up into the tack room. So you gotta step on each tack door, each side of the trailer once again, and that way you're able to step up in there with ease. You're not having to find the small little side rail here and have troubles, trip over yourself, trip over your saddle, whatever you're doing. Um, just having this, this step getting up in here just makes life a heck of a lot easier. And then coming up here into the tack room, so you'll see right away, I've got this other saddle rack pushed out. So when we go over to that other side, you'll see this, this side and how you can enter in entrance get in here from the driver's side of the trailer. But coming over here, you do have a light switch on each door. So that way, no matter what side of the tack room you walk in, you can get the lights turned on. Down below here, we do have a three quarter boot box. So this goes all the way 
um, just storage for you. You can use it as a bench. You can use it as a step to get up into that gooseneck area. This is the versatility of having that. Up there in the gooseneck nose, it is carpeted. Now you can get some storage up there if you needed to throw a sleeping bag up there overnight. You could easily do that. Got some windows on each side. And then up here, so you'll see the shelf, but then behind the shelf, we've got our plexiglass tray holder. So that comes in handy big time, especially, you know, spring, summer, even fall time of year. When you're starting out and it's colder out and you got to keep some of that plexiglass in to keep the animals warm. And then as the day progresses, the sun comes out, it gets warmer and warmer. You're going to want to take some of that plexiglass out. So you're able to take it out and store it up in here and have it in the trailer. So that way, if it does start raining, you need to put it back in. You can easily just grab it, stick it back in. Nice thing about the Cimarron trailers, the way they cut their plexiglass is going to be in three foot sections. So they're not super big. They're not awkward to carry around and maneuver. It's, it just makes life a heck of a lot easier when you've got that, that capability of putting them up in here. You're not struggling with the long pieces and stuff. And then over here, we've got our shelf. So we've got the radius corners or a corner on this side. So that way, if you're walking in, I mean, I'm getting close to it right here. Um, but if you're taller than me, you're going to end up banging your head if you're not paying attention. And so we went ahead and made sure that this was at a corner or a, a radius. And that way it's not pointed and you're grabbing your temple into it and, and hurting yourself pretty bad. But nice thing about the shelf, it does have a lip on it. And that way stuff is going to hold in there a little bit better. Unless you're driving like a madman, you never know what might happen. But having that will help prevent some of that stuff from falling out. And then we've got our bar down below. So hang your show clothes on it, hang your polo wraps, hang your blankets, whatever you need to hang up. You can do so with having that. And then up here in the middle of this tack room, we actually have it pre-framed for an AC or a fan or a vent up there. So that's the pre-framing for it. It's going to be a lot easier to be able to get one installed just having that, that footprint right there in the trailer. And then coming over here behind this saddle rack, We've got a 25 gallon water tank. So you're able to bring water from home, wherever you're at, and just make sure you have water with you. If you end up getting stuck on the side of the road or whatnot, you just wanna make sure you have water on board and that way you can get your animals drinking water, get your dog some water. And if you're going to a day show or something, just bring some water from home and then that way you know your animals are drinking and everything. And then over on that partition wall, we've got it fully carpeted. And then we've got our two rows of bridle hooks. So those bridle hooks, there's plenty sitting there. You're able to get all your bridles and halters, whatnot, that you need to get in here, in here and have plenty of space. And then that carpet behind it is gonna help prevent some of that swishing and swaying and rubbing that the bridles will do while in transit. In turn, keep your bridles in better condition and then keep your trailer in better condition as well. So Cimarron trailers, they are an all aluminum trailer. You're getting one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with the center every four inches. And then you're also getting their standard half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. That's got an R3 thermal value on it. So it's gonna be a little bit more heat regulating. And then it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So I know being down here in the front range, that's a big one for us. We never know what time of year is gonna be hail season. And so having that on there, just helps prevent some of that, you know, dings from coming in. Just, it's just nice to have. So over here on the hip side or the passenger side of the trailer, you've got an LED light up above. We've got three ties going across. And then down below here, we've got two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum black spoke wheels. So the charcoal metallic exterior with these black spoke wheels I'm a big fan of. Um, I think it looks really slick putting these two colors together and having this trailer go down the road. It just looks really nice. So then coming over here to the rear of the trailer, we've got the one big back gate, as you can see, and that's got the plexiglass in it too. That is removable. So you can take those out and get that airflow going completely through the trailer. Currently, we do not have a ramp on it, but that's something we can always get installed here at our service department for you. Um, once again, our guys, they're just fantastic in the work that they do. But coming in here, we've got our big back door. Right here, we've got our light switch controls. So these are gonna control the livestock area in your exterior lights. So um, one for each side of the trailer, passenger, or passenger side, driver's side, rear, and then one for the interior. 
So you're able to control all of those from right here on the rear. So I'm coming up in here, neat setup in here. So this is what I was talking about with the versatility of this trailer. So you've got one big gate and this opens up and it actually sits. I don't know if you can see this peg right here, but it's gonna sit on that peg and that way when you are in transit, we're not gonna have a lot of bouncing going on. That's not gonna be rattling too much. It's just gonna help with the overall comfort of the animals in here. And then as you can see up front here, we've got a full length stud stall. So having this versatility, you're able to, if you need to have stud horse up there, you can do so. Or if you're only hauling a couple horses, you can use that as a storage stall. There's just a lot of different options you can do having this kind of setup and then being able to get this open too. So be able to have that storage stall, stud stall, whatever you need to do. You can either have this gate open, you can keep this gate shut if you're hauling two horses in a quad or something. Um, loading your cattle, your alpacas, your llamas. I mean, there's all, all the choices that you have just having the versatility with this trailer. So rubber mat floors on this one, we can easily get, in up, get you upgraded to the worm flooring on here. And that worm flooring um, there, it's about, or sorry, words are hard today. It is a rubber composite that goes on the floor and that's gonna prevent any kind of liquid, urine, anything like that from getting to that floor. You're not having to pull mats out of here. Um, you're just able to, to spray it off and you're good to go. So coming over here to the driver's side of the trailer, we've got three more ties on this side. And then I wanted to show you, so this is both on this side, the other side, and then that back gate. These little cutouts right here, are how you're gonna get your plexiglass out of the trailer. So you're just gonna wanna take a, a needle nose pliers or get someone from the inside to push and slide. And these actually just slide right out. Uh, we highly recommend taking one row out at a time, putting them together with either masking tape or painter's tape or something, and writing where you took them from. So I'd say driver's side lower or driver's side upper, vice versa. Um, and that way, you know which area you're, you're taking them from, because there could be one that's cut just a little bit off, and then you're trying to play a puzzle piece that is never ending, and you get frustrated like I do. Um, it's not fun. <laughs> so right here, we do have an escape door on that first stall. And that's what I was talking about with using this as a storage stall. Being able to access it from the outside, that's a big one for me. You're going on long road trips. You don't have to take animals off this trailer in order to get to your storage that you've got in there. So in this gate, or this door does have its own little uh, plexiglass inserts that you can take out as well. So then right here, this is the other side of the tack room and that tack door that opens up You've got two more saddle tiers. You can easily get up to five on there, depending on how big your saddles are. And then this on a gas shock as well, goes back in and sits in that stationary position while you're in transit. So again, on this one, we've got additional blanket tiers, and then we've got another brush box down below. All these doors and gates are gonna be on a latchback system, and that way they are not gonna be slamming shut where you're trying to do stuff and it's windy out. Um, everything's gonna be held open by those latches. So this trailer, we are sitting at 610 wide. We're sitting at 71 tall, and we have an on the floor length of 24 feet. So it's a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star 24 foot stock combo. And stock number we've got on this one is 5N221774, and that's 5N221774. So if you've got questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our website or on our lot, or you're interested at building a trailer, please don't hesitate to reach out and give me a call at that number below. It's 303-684-3451, or you can shoot me a call or give me a text at my cell phone. That's 970-218. 5996 or you can shoot me an email to morgan that's m-o-r-g-a-n dot noll k-n-o-l-l at transwest.com if you click the link below it'll take you to this trailer on our web page and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day